What's up guys, welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. We got another meal we're gonna be taking part of today. We're gonna to be cooking some grilled pineapple glazed chicken. I got a whole chicken here. Stay tuned, we'll show you how we're gonna cut this up and put it on the grill. All right, so check this out. We got this whole fryer chicken right here. Picked it up from my local grocery store today, H-E-B. Let's look over here and see what we're gonna be using today. So for a marinade, we're gonna, I found this in the store today, never used this, but I love marinating my chicken with Italian dressing. And I figured this probably got some Cajun spices to it. Tony Zatri's Italian dressing. So we're gonna see how that goes today. I got some roasted garlic and herb butter. I'm gonna use about half of that for the glaze, half of that for basting. You're gonna need pineapple reserves. These are cut up in little chunks. Got this at my grocery store. You probably can find this at any grocery store you're going to that you have around in your town. Some rubs we're gonna be using today. We're gonna to use a little bit of this lime meat chalada by Hardcore Carnivore. I like the lime flavor in this. And by Chupacabra, two gringos are up. We're gonna be using the poultry season for another base. You're gonna be need some honey. Sorry about that. Got a little high. For um, some local honey for your glaze. And then you're gonna need a container also to kind of put your chicken in and let it marinate. So let me show you how they're gonna get cut off. You're gonna need some sharp knives. So I got my big old Dow Strong hatchet right here. I call it the hatchet, but it's a meat cleaver, all right? Um, I got my boning knife, my Dexter boning knife, and you're gonna need some good kitchen shears right there. So let's show you how we're gonna get this cut up. So the reason you wanna have a sharp knife, cause you wanna kinda get through the skin real easy. So I'm gonna take my legs right here, kinda go across right there, and you're gonna find a little piece in there, like your cartilage, it should go right through, and go ahead and get that cut off, just like that, okay? Go ahead and switch the chicken to the other side, go right through, find that cartilage right in the middle, get it cut off. Got your two legs right here, okay? Now you see this skin going across here? I wanna get my thighs off, so I gotta cut that. Cut that skin right up and through there. Wash your hands, okay? Now, I will say, this chicken has been rinsed off and dried out, okay? Then just take it out of the pack. I do believe in rinsing my chicken off, or what you say, washing the chicken. So we did do that. Cut your bone down right here, okay, to kind of expose the back. See how that sharp knife just gets that off right here? Gets it real good. Now this knife looks like it's doing everything today. <laughs> I might not need my big knife, okay? But I might, so I, I wanna use it. So I'm gonna grab it anyway. And I wanna take that in between there. Use the weight of this knife. I pretty much cut that, just like that. So I got pieces separated right here. You got the thighs. Your backbone, you can keep the backbone if you want. Then you got your breasts and your wings. Let's go ahead and get these wings cut off first, all right? So there's some thick piece of meat right up between here. And it's just like your leg. Take your knife, go in between that, find where it separates. See, I did it right, right there, cartilage right here. Take it, go around, cut your wing off. There you go. Do the same for the other side. Find a little cartilage where it goes in. Sometimes you might have to come from the other side. You kind of bend your chicken as you're going. You kind of get that bone to break. There it is. I don't know why I'm having trouble finding this one. There we go. Get it off right there. All right, so now you got your breasts. So I'm gonna cut these in two big old breasts. All right, get the rest of that backbone out of there. Now, I'm gonna start me a little cut in the middle, right there, get it separated. Knife is so sharp, I say, we're not gonna be using the hatchet today. I call it the hatchet or your meat cleaver. You're gonna use me. Boom, got the skin on. Two big old chicken breasts. Okay, so we got our wings, our legs, 
chicken breasts right here. You can cut these in half if you want to kind of spread them out, but I usually just slice them after they're cooked. Now let's take these thighs and get these off this backbone. Now I might have to cut these off with a meat cleaver. But I might not. I know they, people used to talk about how my knives weren't sharp when I first started doing videos. But they're, I guarantee they're sharp now. You see how it's cutting through this bone. So you got a thigh right here. And your other one is right over here. So I'm going to take the meat clear. I'm going to chop through that. You don't really need a lot because this is heavy. And there it is right there. And I don't care about it looking pretty. You can grill that too. I probably will because I like the back meat, conserving all that. And this is what we got. We got two thighs, two legs, two big old breasts. We got two thighs. I said wings. Okay, I almost called call those thighs. Those are wings. My wife caught that. She went right back and told me correct it. So I got two wings, two legs, two breasts, two thighs, and I got a back. We're keeping all this. We're going to grill. And I like the little butt on these, the little butt meat, because they get crispy. So I'm cooking all that. So let's go ahead and get in our little marinade. Um, as you saw, I'm going to take one glove off, keeping everything sanitized and clean. Open this little container over here. And we're going to take the chicken with our gloved hand, and we're going to go ahead and put our chicken in here. Okay. Now after I've got a few pieces, I'm going to take some of my marinade, open it up. Let's get this open up right here real good. New bottle. And go ahead and get you a little half about half the bottle on there, okay? Mix it up a little bit. And this is just marinating, okay? That's all we're doing. Take your other pieces, get them in there. Get my breasts all in there. My thighs. Probably pour a little more marinade to get it in there. Mix it up a little, cause those breasts is about big as those four pieces I put in earlier. Get it all over it. Take your, another, your wing and your other thigh and get it all in there and pour the rest. And that's what you want. We're going to let that sit for about 45 minutes to an hour. You can do 30 minutes you want, but the longer the better. Let's put these in the fridge. We're going to go outside and show you how I'm going to get this grill started. All right, our marinade has been sitting in the fridge for about an hour right now. So I got it all out right here. And it's got the marinade on it here. And the reason I want it like that, because this is going to be used as a binder. Went on and took that out, shook some access off, and now it's ready to season. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to hit it a little bit of the hardcore carnivore. So I got one glove up all on it to keep it clean. So what you want to do is kind of go around, get a dusting of it on one side. And I'm going to be grilling this, like I said, so... It's going to seal in pretty fast once I show you what I'm going to do outside. Get it on this good side. Get some good season. I like my food seasoned, but this is not really salty rub, so I don't have to worry about over salting it. Go ahead and hit it with a little bit of chupacabra next. Add a little crunch in it. The granules are a little bit bigger in this. Make sure you cover all parts of the chicken. On this one side might get a little messy but that's okay okay so that's sitting there right there go ahead and turn it over get all of them turned over real good don't worry about that skin right there because it's such at a high heat it's gonna pull back anyway now I got this on this little wire rack if you notice that's the way you know, the rub and kind of sit on the meat and won't rub off on the pan all the way. And do the same thing you did to the other, to the chicken on the other side. 
I'm gonna cover this skin real good on the side on some of these pieces. So I got my glove on so I can hit it real good. You know, if you can, get under the skin because we want to taste the seasoning. Same over here. Get under the skin a little bit. You want to pull the tube back off. Um, off. I like the skin. I like to um, taste the crunch. A lot of people don't, but I do. But this is not, like I said, your composition style chicken or anything like that. I'm not trying to get fancy or anything. Just want to add flavor. Now, hit it with the chupacabra. Get a little dusty. Same thing, season. Other side. Some of that paprika and the other rub, I believe, that's in there. I have to look on it. I believe that's giving it this red color. Hit that back. Hit that wing over here. Hit these thighs. And there you go. It looks good. Even coating. All right, so we're going to take this outside. It doesn't need long to set. I don't need to get it real soggy and wet. And we're, I think the grill's about ready to throw these on and sear them. All right, so I got my smoker out here almost at 350, about 340 right there. You want a high heat on this, because what we're going to be doing, I'm going to sear these first to lock in some of the juices. So I'm going to grab these with my hand. You don't want them on here long. Do a couple pieces at a time. Go ahead and sear that. Just to lock in the juices. Put some thighs on. Now as this heats up, the flame's gonna come up a little bit. And it, once these breasts come off this part, I'll have to move some of this chicken over so it can sear pretty good. Well, all in all, that grill is hot. So you wanna close this. Open your vents all the way. In this instance, I'm just going to pop this vent open. And I want it to come up pretty fast to get my heat up real hot. Then we'll open it again and flip the chicken. All right, so I bet these are about ready to turn. And that's what you want. This is, this is grilled chicken. Some of these are not ready to turn, but I'm going to rotate them. Turn it on the skin. There we go. Now that one got a little black, <laughs> but you know, that's part of barbecue, make a little error, but that, it's not too bad right there. I'll we'll deal with it. it. Yeah, we'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the heat's come up, I can kind of leave this open so I can watch it. I just wanted the heat to come up a little bit and we'll sear the other side. Get some of those juices to lock in and then we'll move those off. But trust me, this is going to be good. All right, so let's get these last pieces off. You see them? Got a little char to them. That's, so, that's, that's that good flavor. Take these off. Go ahead and put all your chicken over here. So all that'll burn off, all this uh, residual burnt stuff. I hit the camera, y'all. I'm gonna grab a couple pieces of cherry right here. And that's about it. 
close this down and we'll let this cook at, uh, at about 350 we're going to cook this and ask a little bit of that smoke check it about 30 minutes God, there's a reason why you got to pay attention to your food and don't get distracted. So, you know, the reason I burnt that leg, because if you look right here, this is a little rabbit nest right here. This is a little fur. And I moved. I don't want to touch it. I want the mama not to, I guess they don't um, abandon them. But I was moving this earlier, and I cut the grass earlier. I came out here while I was doing the meat, and there was a little hands came up. And I saw the rabbit run off that way. So I got distracted by looking at it. Burn my piece of chicken. So you gotta stay on top of it, you know, your grill game. You know, we make mistakes. It's how it is. But we're gonna save that piece of chicken. We're gonna leave the rabbits alone. We probably I don't know how I never had rabbits in the yard. I don't know how many they have, but I was wondering what's going on. You know, she took off that way. She'll be back. So that's part of it. <laughs> so like I said, we're out here. Grill's been holding almost about 350, been holding real good. That's what I love about this summit. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Woo wee. Now I told you I added cherry wood, but I did decide to add a piece of oak over there. A little post oak. Give it a little more of that Texas flavor. Let's go ahead and check some of these. I know these wings are almost done. Look at the color on those. 163. Good, good. Let's check a thigh. Find the deepest. Don't try not to touch the bone. It'll give you a false reading. 166. Dark meat usually going to come up to about 175, 180. Let's check this breast. 130, 128. That's got a little time on it. 136, 130. Okay. Let's check some of these legs. 158. I know this burnt one over here. 162. Oh, it's cooking pretty good. And of course the back, I ain't really worried about that. That's probably almost done, 163. Now I see the flames coming up, so we're gonna get a little butter on here. Now I melted some butter on the stove. I had a little cast iron pot, but I'm actually, uh, I gotta re-season it. Put a little butter on here, and this will give it a little more flavor and it'll give it a little more color on it. The smoke is giving a little color also. Now that butter you saw I had, I put that, um, the whole thing, tub of little butter in it, melted it down, and then the rest of the butter I'll use for the sauce when we get ready to that part. And that's all you want to do. Hit that butter just like that all over. Give it a little shine. And next time we come out here, it should be almost ready. Don't want to dry that white meat out, and we'll be saucing it. Man, that looks good. Look at the color. Now, that's some grilled chicken, y'all. Get that flame to come back down guys so let's show you how to make this sauce so i already got that butter going from where i basted the chicken earlier and it's pretty much melted so you want to grab you this little pineapple preserves good about two tablespoons of this good heaping tablespoons just like that okay because that'll reduce down you want a little bit of honey about a tablespoon of honey and that's about a tablespoon right there and you want to put your little rub in here. I would say about a teaspoon of that right there and about a teaspoon of the other rub. Whatever rub you're using. And once you get that going, take your spoon or a whisk and kind of mix this up. Get it all incorporated. It's already pretty much hot and you can see how that pineapple is breaking down. So once it's ready, we'll get this going and all put together or infused and we'll go out there once our chicken's getting close to being done and we'll hit it with a little bit of this glaze. All right, so let's go ahead and take the temperature. I think these are about ready to go ahead and glaze. That's 155, 156, so about 160. Two, I'll take those off and let the heat come up while they rest a little bit. It's 155, 156. Let's do some dark meat. 177, there we go. Tie the leg. 180. So these are about done. So all we're going to do now is put this glaze on there. And we're going to let it sit for about another 15 minutes or so. 
get some of that pineapple in there. And that's what I like about this little brush right here. It gets all the little pineapple stuff in there. Look at that glaze. Get it on the thighs. It's looking good. Hit the wings. That's some good looking grilled chicken right there. We're losing a little bit of light. So if it's a little darker than it seems, that's because just losing light. There we go. Ooh wee. Hit a little a little more on the edges right there. And I think that's gonna be good. Pineapple. Put some of that pineapple on there. Yeah, looking good. All right, so let these hit about 15 minutes. Let the glaze sit on there so a little bit, and we'll be having them off inside the house and cut them up. All right, so we got the chicken off, and it's been resting under this foil for about a good 15 minutes just to keep the heat in. So let's look at it and see what it looks like. There it is right there. There you go, your pineapple glaze grilled chicken. I thought I burnt something the other, earlier, but you know what? It came out real good. And this is what grilled chicken supposed to look like. It ain't supposed to look unseasoned, un undercooked. So let's go ahead and, you know, I like the breast. Let's kind of get these wings over here. Look at that wing. Look at, look at that color on that wing. Looks good. Look at all that glaze. You can see some of the pineapple chunks inside on there. So I'm gonna get one cut up. I'm gonna keep, keep all those to the side. We're gonna cut a piece of breast meat off. A little skin, I like the little skin. You see some of the smoke in there. Look at the, the juices. As I push my finger down, you know, that's some juicy white meat. Look how it, it bends. Skin came off a little bit. Let's go ahead and taste it. Mmm. That's pretty good right there. Smoke flavor. Tastes the marinade. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's all good right there. And it's hard to dry out. I mean, it's easy to dry out white meat, but this is not dry. Especially on the bone. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Another cooking video done. So, stay tuned for more toothpicks. Mm, 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 mm. That skin is good. Oh, that's good.